Hey, what's going on everyone? So we're back from Vegas and it was a great time. We had a lot of fun and we had some other stuff go on. We'll talk about that at another time, but we got back so late last night. It was about 4 a.m. <laughs> um, we had some adventures with the car. We had a break in. All all kinds of <laughs> crazy stuff. We, we do want to talk about that. We'll talk about it later because right now it is 310. <laughs> we have to pick up the kids from school, which was another crazy thing going on this morning. And we have all these sales to, to pull. And Reese doesn't know that he doesn't have any meatballs anymore. <laughs> Grandma gave them all to him. So, <laughs> but, but we had some great sales. This, I don't know, you want to save that one for last? It's yeah. not a DeWalt fan, but... Uh, yeah, because we'll I haven't printed the label yet because we'll, I haven't pulled up on the screen, but yeah. We'll save that one for last. But yeah, let's get on into it because we got to get this stuff packed up and go. Yeah. Um, so these ones were kind of already at the house, basically newly listed items that didn't make it to storage yet. Yeah, this Starbucks Boulder mug. So see you, Boulder. Um, I bought this on my Denver trip just when I went in to get a Starbucks. I used my points on one of these because we don't have these down here in the springs and they're right. only... They're not like at every Starbucks up in Denver either. So they sell pretty well on eBay and Poshmark. This one sold on Poshmark for my fullest price of $50. Hey. Um, I use my points. I already blocked out the number. I probably paid a few dollars over because you know, they give you $20 off with your points. It, this yeah. was probably maybe 25. So maybe paid $5 out of pocket, but yeah. $50. That was awesome. Which, yeah, we basically use all of our reward points from Starbucks to do that. Which, speaking of, we had we did have some buy me a coffee oh. support if you wanted to thank that real quick. And <laughs> I'm throwing you all off your game. No, I know today. <laughs> we, yeah, like Chris said, got it's home at four, then we woke up at nine and we had to do some errands around town yeah. because of what happened in Vegas. Dealing with insurances and, and detectives so, yeah, and all. It's this just was, been... This should have been done by like one, but here we are at three. <laughs> so I did want to thank Jenna. Uh, bought us two coffees. Said thanks for making such positive, informative, and entertaining videos. It's making my maternity leave so much more productive. Awesome. You guys, do you guys have any videos where you talk about how often, when you do your listings on this perfectly in comparison to the spreadsheet? Are the spreadsheet entries done at the same time when you list? Thanks for everything and keep up the great work with listing and the gym. You're an inspiration. Awesome. Thank you, Jenna. Jenna, um, thanks. Yes. And congratulations, about, first of all. On <laughs> the yes, um, upcoming baby. Um, list perfectly versus spreadsheet. So what I think you're asking is like, do I type in yeah. the items into our spreadsheet at the same time? So I did just recently change how I was doing it to a way I think is faster. Um, before I used to like, as soon as I brought the inventory upstairs here, I would just type it straight in before I did anything else with it. Yeah. Uh, I felt like that was a waste of time. I still feel like that is a waste of time. Um, so yeah, the way I have been doing it, it's still kind of doing that, but yeah, I now I photograph them first, list them all up, and then I just mm -hmm. copy and paste my title from the list perfectly listing into the spreadsheet mm. and then bag them up at that time and then basically give it the bin location right away or right. you know if we're taking them to storage if i don't have built banker boxes here i will just say like i'll put a whole bag full and say storage one take it to storage and then i'll right. come back home and right away put in the location but yeah that's what i've been doing lately i feel like it's much faster because i do it right when i list the items and mm -hmm. so it's like fresh in my mind the shoes are fresh here ready to be bagged i don't get behind on it that way so yeah and i think that's the most important thing doing it always consistently at yeah. when you plan on doing it right because even if i get to say two or three days behind then it's i'm scrolling down yeah. almost perfectly a couple pages and so yeah basically yeah. the better the faster you can do it the better and quicker yeah more streamlined it's going to be I also wanted to thank Kathy who bought us a coffee and said buying a coffee where a coffee is due thank you so much for sharing all your knowledge and brands of what's selling I found a Scotty vest women's trench the other day and would have walked right past it wow had it not been for your channel thank you awesome that is awesome Kathy I'm hoping you sold that already yeah I know I just listed two Scotty vest things I haven't folded them up yet but they haven't sold but they have a lot of watchers already and i listed them a few days ago so awesome thank you so much for the coffee we guys uh, guys we do appreciate that support and sorry i, I interrupted you. i actually got my coffee today with an extra shot because of waking up yeah. after four hours so all right <laughs> next up so these born sandals these are actually gifted to me by a friend so yeah this friend gave me a few pairs of shoes so all zero cost of goods these born sandals sold for fifty two sixteen plus shipping. That's probably the most uh, for born. Yeah, yeah that's pretty like good. The highest price I've ever gotten for a pair of born. Like normally, you get maybe thirty twenty five thirty. Um, I don't know what it was about these. I decided to just look up 
Sometimes I wouldn't even look up a comp. I would just price it like $29.95 plus shipping. Yeah. But I don't know. I thought these were a cute style. They were in great shape. So I was like, let me try to find the model. And they're called like the Iowa or Iwa, I-W-A. Hmm. For whatever reason, these were just had a really high comp. So I awesome. priced, I think, at $59.95. And with our sale running, yeah. Buyer paid $52.16 plus ship. They sold in like a day. They had a bunch of likes on Posh already, too. And a couple of watches on eBay, so... Bolo, this model of Born Sandals. <laughs> they do look very nice. Yeah, they're cute. They still make them. Um, you can buy them new, but like new is like 120 so okay. getting like half off is pretty yeah. good. All right. And then Echo. These ones sold to our viewer, John. Thank you so much, John. Uh, $47 plus shipping. I had $16.99 into those, so awesome. I did pay up a little, but really still a great sale. These are in great shape. I love Echo, especially men's yeah. Echo. I like the leather on them. John, thank you so much thank for you. the support. Hope you enjoy the new shoes. All righty. Blowfish shoes. These ones, just little flats. Bought for $3.50 on half off day last weekend. Sold for $18 plus ship. So not huge. Blo or blowfish don't ever go for a super ton. But yeah. yeah, it was still about a $10 profit. These actually sold global shipping, so the buyer's in a lot. Um, I just don't get like all that extra shipping. But they're going to Canada, so I think I want to say they're in like almost $50 for these. Okay. So, wow. All right, and then these beezies. I don't know if we put the haul up for these yet. I think we showed these in a recent haul, but I don't know which video is coming out first, so. Right, yeah. Yeah, these, <laughs> I think we call them the Laker shoes, and then Chris said, is that the Vikings color? So when I listed them, I was looking it up, and it seemed like it was. So I, okay. I did use Vikings and Lakers in my title, and they sold fast, so $33 plus shipping for some beezies. I did pay 15 for these because they were in such good shape, but. It's not quite a doubling of my money, but pretty close okay. and really fast. So probably bolo that colorway. Yeah, I mean, BZs in general, yeah, I would grab these in any color, but mm -hmm. I'm sure a Lakers or Vikings fan <laughs> picked those up, I can't. Or just, I don't know, is there anything else that's yellow and purple? Right, it's just, I mean, the yellow's good, but then when you add the purple, like mm -hmm. what, what would you match with if it's not? What's that, in Michigan State? Is that, a, it's a yellow, isn't it? Maybe. I don't, know. I don't know if it's purple though. It might be blue. I don't know. What are we? Is it just Lakers and and? That's the only one. That Vikings. <laughs> These crocs sold for twenty eight dollars plus ship. I picked them up for fourteen on my Denver trip. Okay. That played off positive. Basically, because they were new, I was like, I could probably make a small profit. Yeah. Because they were new, I thought I was going to get more like thirty five to forty, but this model doesn't really retail for that much anyways. Okay. And the comps were just low, but. I'm still making probably a $10, maybe $11 profit there. Okay. Pretty quick, so I'll take it. All right. So, Alegria. Spot for $10.99. Sold for $31 plus ship fairly quickly. Those, I think I just bought a couple weekends ago. Um, some Skechers. A little white slip-on mule. Bought for $9.99. It sold for $26.06 plus shipping, but pretty quick. This model of Skecher, I think this is an older model, but like any, it's not even just Skechers, like any like sneaker that's like a mule like this, like an, a backless, like a slip on, mm -hmm. it just seems to sell really it does well. well. Anyways, these were like a little bit yellowed. So even though they're like really in good shape, I was like, I'll still take them even with the yellowing because they always sell fast and they did, so. Sweet. Yeah. All right. So some Tiva. Just some purple and nice sandals, bought for $9.99, sold for $34.76 plus shipping. Look at this guy. He's, he's I'm sure he's so happy to be home. <laughs> my, he stayed with my mom with the boys uh, while we were in Vegas, and she's got two little itty bitty Yorkie, like a miniature Yorkie, and then a Yorkie. And, and they're just chasing him around, biting his heels all day. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right. Um, so with these Sockney bullets for thirty-eight sixty-six plus ship off for five ninety-nine. So really fast. I feel like I just listed all these like just before we went on the trip. So that's nice. So with these Air Yacht cowboy boots. These have been listed forever. I think I got a better offer than this a while ago and did not accept, so I kind of wish I did. But yeah, finally got an offer this weekend on Mercari of 42 and accepted. I did pay $19.99 for these, so it's not a very big profit, maybe like $13, $14 after yeah. fees. I think the offer I maybe countered way back when was like 50 on Posh. I think I had them listed at 80 or 90, but mm. 
Wish I would have accepted that. Yeah. But it's okay. Yeah, you're still Not making money. Making money. Yeah, I gotta wipe these. Got some dust because they've been they've been a while up here when we had all the shelves in here. They've so. made it through the move over to yeah. the <laughs> storage unit and all that. These O'Neill men's like hybrid shorts bought for $4.99, sold for $23 with discount shipping. Those go fast. Um, yeah, those hybrid type shorts tend to do well and quick. And some Crocs. These are just a flip flop bought for $7.99, accepted $25 offer pretty quickly after listing. Probably could have got closer to $30 if I held out, but quick flip is better for me. Yeah. Um, Lucky brand. I am picking them. I got these on my number trip. They're just like an animal print loafer. Okay. They were just in really good shape and they were like on a half off. I paid $7.50 but sold for $31 with discount shipping. So not a huge profit, but they sold fast. I thought the style was good enough to pick up. So Lucky Brand, some of them sit forever. So just either check comps, yeah. check sell through, or be okay with waiting a while, which I was. Mm -hmm. Uh, so these Vans, these, I like this model of Vans, the Ultra Range ones. These these were called the Ultra Range Gore, so I'm imagining they're Gore-Tex. I do think that they're waterproof, so okay. it probably is. Um, but yeah, these, are not they're not in bad shape or anything, but you know, some yellowing here. They're not in the best shape. Mm -hmm. I still got a $40 offer and accepted. I paid $12.99. I thought I could get at least $35, so I was happy with $40. Okay. Um, also my size and I tried them on and I was like if they never sell I'll keep them so <laughs> sometimes I do that like $12.99 for the condition of those I might have normally passed but if I have a reason to maybe like <laughs> want to keep them or something yeah. uh, I'll grab them okay so these salt water sandals these are like in perfect condition probably could have got a little more but I did accept a $20 offer on Poshmark I bought for $4.99 so like $11 profit there Okay. Sold some Steve Madden like heels. I don't really like selling heels. I only bought these because they were from the bins when we were doing bins miss mm. back in December. So a dollar ninety eight cost of goods that day, and two I accepted fifteen dollar offer on Posh. Mm. If yeah. I was just sourcing shoes, these are not real leather. If they were real leather, I possibly would have bought them at a higher price. But these are not. Yeah. And I just don't really like heels. So yeah. I'd have left those probably at a normal thrift. It's like even at like the dollar fifty yeah. cost of goods, it's not so that like great a, of a sale. Yeah. Dollar profit. Yeah, and it took a while. But I don't like them, yeah, because like heels, I always measure the heel, but yeah. sometimes I forget, and then someone always is gonna ask. <laughs> All right. Some little toddler natives love selling these. Bought for two ninety nine, sold for twenty three with discount shipping. Sweet. So not too bad for some baby shoes. Um. These are those Travis Matthew, C-U-A-T-E-R, however you want to say that brand shoes. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to try. I really don't. Know I'll put it on the screen that. here. Yeah. So this is my first time finding the brand. I just thought they looked interesting, looked them up. They are like Travis Matthews shoe line, I guess. So comps were great. Closer to 50, I want to say 50 to 60. I accepted a $40 offer on these just because... That's still a pretty good offer to me. I mm -hmm. bought them for $10.99, so we sold on Posh. I love selling stuff on Posh more because it's just super easy. Yeah. So who is Travis Matt? Is he a uh, musician or is he a golfer? <laughs> I feel like... Oh, Travis Matthew is the golf brand. Okay. David Matthews but is I the don't. musician. <laughs> I, just... I guess. I listen to them with music. They're brothers, right? No, I'm just kidding. That's all just... <laughs> but yeah, I mean... So golfer. His like clothing line is golf related. I don't know if he's an actual oh, golfer okay, or okay. anything, but I would imagine probably. Or, or if, if he's like even a celebrity. <laughs> we don't know anything, guys. Yeah, we really don't. <laughs> I just know it sells good. <laughs> All right, so these Aero Souls, that's another brand I don't always pick up. I grab these because Reese is being silly. Uh, he's oh, he was just. Your tummy to the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get tummy rubs. <laughs> Um, I just bought these because they were in such good shape. I bought these the day, if you, I feel like we have a lot of new viewers. There's one day where like, I went into a thrift and I got like 20 something pairs. They all just looked brand new almost oh, right, without yeah. box. So, you know, some were like $8.99, some were up to like $14.99, but I just averaged my cost on them all, which came out to $11.50 that day. A lot of those sold off within like the first week. 
This one's a little bit of a straggler, but $33 on Posh, so still pretty decent. $11.50 in the $33. I like it. Yeah, and then I actually did work on the same day, so some Skechers. Lifestyle sandals, so eleven fifty into twenty five plus shipping. Yeah, these were on Posh. So okay. Plus shipping. Uh, so not quite like doubling or anything on that, but several of the other pairs went for well into my that day. I, I think I spent like five hundred dollars, mm -hmm. but I was like, if I could just double that, that'd be great, which I've more than done that already. Right. So. And it's been a very consistent over time. Like you, and it was great because you didn't really have to clean them. Yeah. You just photograph them and go. So that, <laughs> that we, was... if we could do that every time, <laughs> we'd be very happy. I'm happy to pay up for things I don't have to do much work yeah. for. Yeah. Uh, so these little Crocs, these are either very small women's. I think they were like a women's three or like just a youth girls one. Uh, Mary Jane flat bought for two ninety nine, sold for twenty one seventy one plus shipping. Pretty quick. I yeah. got those on my Denver trip. Some dance stuff. These are called the Diva, I believe, Mary Jane. Bought for $4.99, sold for $34.76 plus shipping. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. uh, these are Huck, Hook, Huck. I, I wouldn't think Hook because it's it's a fishing right, line, right? H-U-K. H -U -K. Okay, but like, I feel like it's a play on okay. Hook because the U looks like a fishing hook, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just know. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is it so. Huck? Like Huck Finn or Hook? Like Captain Hook. So whatever it is, I sold these shorts for thirty dollars forty one cents plus shipping. I bought them for five ninety nine. I know this brand is great, but I barely ever find it. I think this is only my second, maybe third time finding it. But yeah, yeah. definitely Bolo usually sells fast. I feel like it's one of the more popular fishing brands. Yeah. yeah. Um. So these trotters bought for two forty four. These were from the bins. So two forty four into twenty eight plus shipping. Very nice. Least. These were my personal Under Armour flip flops. They're actually men's, I guess. I didn't know that the whole time I had them. Not that it matters. I still would have worn them, but um, yeah, when I went to list them, I realized the size because, like, I know the trick about like the UK size is one different than the US size, and they're, they're men's. And I noticed that on this size tag on these, mm. which I never noticed before. So, yeah, men's Under Armour flip flops, 1301 plus shipping. Um, I got a lot of wear out of them last summer. I bought them at Play-Doh's, probably 15 to 20, but they were brand new when I got them. So got a lot of wear, sold them for 1301, probably making back $11 in my pocket. Very happy with that. Very nice. Now that wasn't really the last, right. but not least. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we do have. This was the best. This was the best. And like the, one of the things that sold right as we left, right? Yeah. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen them, but yeah, so these... I don't know. Should we take them out or? Yeah. Give us a moment. We'll pull them out real quick so you guys can get a look at them. All right. So we got them out. So these cool, uh, these are vintage. Yeah. Vintage. No, I think so. I call them vintage. <laughs> <and they're> vintage. <laughs> I mean, um, they look vintage. Yeah. They also, they, they're by the actual brand telescope furniture. Telescope so furniture. So I that's. I doubt that they make that anymore. So yeah. Yeah. You know, they're not really dated. I feel like there's a date here, but I can't make that out. But it looks like the 90s, which would make them vintage, so. Yeah. Um, but they're, they got the wooden handles, a little wooden front rail. Pretty nice for their time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like these chairs. I don't know what it is. I like cigarette burners or something <laughs> in them. But yeah, I showed all the flaws. Yeah. Um, these yeah. took a long time to they sell. They did. We listed these last May. I remember, like, the day our kids got out of school, we were all just in the backyard. I was photographing some big items. Chris was working on our bus project. Yeah. The kids were playing. And, yeah, so these were, like, last May, and then they're just selling now this April, so 11 months. Yeah. I didn't and we probably had them for a long time before we even listed, so. We had a year before I even listed them. <laughs> Uh, I hate listing this kind of stuff because we yeah. had to find a box or some way to ship them. <laughs> Which, yeah, um, that box yeah. just so happens to basically yeah. fit them perfectly on the side when they're kind of nested in together. <laughs> so, um, yeah, what was the, the total price? Uh, $174. 174 plus. One cent oh. <laughs> plus shipping. Yeah, $60 <laughs> in shipping. So I was going to mention that. So, you know, when I shared it on Instagram, people were like, how do you, how are you shipping these? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Basically, whenever I list a big item, I know exactly how I'm going to ship it. We find the box it, first. But, yeah. Um, I learned my lesson by not doing that when I was a newer reseller. Yeah. So since I had the box, I knew they fit. I measured the box. The way I do it, there's probably better ways. Or you could do, like, calculated shipping on eBay. But yeah. I always just, like, kind of um, do, like, go in and pirate ship and pretend I'm, like, going to ship them to New York. 
We're yeah. in Colorado, so New York's kind of a far location. Yeah. Then I like pretend I'm shipping them to California. Kind of split kinda the like difference. See, you know, what is it to California? What is it to New York? And then yeah, try to make yeah. it around. Average there, it so. out. Yeah. I ended up while also to, being kind of reasonable, right? Yeah. Like. And then I also look at other people's listings too. Like if other people are getting fifty to hundred dollars for shipping, yeah. And I, that's what I'm coming up with anyways. I'm like, okay, that's fair. Yeah. Um. So I came up with fifty nine ninety nine. That's mm-hmm. what I charged the buyer. So they did pay the one seventy four plus the sixty dollars in shipping. Um. And they're just going to California. So with the dimensions, the box is technically going to be like seventeen pounds, but it's going UPS. Usually you can add a few extra pounds, and it doesn't change the cost. It's more on the dimensions. Yeah. So I'm just doing 20 pounds. It's the same cost as 17. The dimensions, we're going to cut the box down. We didn't buy the label yet because... We want to get a final... It might be like one inch different, in which case it does change the price a lot. So yeah. what the dimensions we think it is, it's coming out to 37.51. Mm-hmm. But if it's one inch different, it's going to... On the, on the depth of it, like the thickness. $51 yeah. and some change. So either way, it's, you know, I priced it fine. Yeah. But yeah, that's how I do my big shipping stuff like this. Yeah. Vintage lawn chairs are a thing. <laughs> I, well, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to pick any more up. I right. like holding them. You know, we have a little enclosed trailer outside of our house that they've been sitting in for this whole time, but mm-hmm. I don't want to store this kind of stuff. I don't want to bring this to storage and keep it there. Yeah. yeah. If you have the space or you like to do this kind of stuff, uh, I know a friend in Colorado here, Greg, Rocky Mountain Resell, he sells a lot of these just on fake facebook marketplace locally so right yeah if you like to sell this kind of stuff people are definitely looking for it so yeah that retro vibe i I noticed the buyer had zero feedback so they must have literally been looking for these chairs and then Mm. bought them on ebay you know yeah anyways i don't think the brand necessarily matters i mean it probably helps these ones sell for more but even like just basic no brand ones you can probably get like 50 bucks a pop right yeah Awesome. I am so glad that they yeah, finally sold. They're on their way. Yeah, well, and it seems like someone is going to appreciate them yeah. <laughs> for probably the first time in yeah, like 20 years. I noticed years. that in California, they're going to like a little lake town. So oh, that's cool. I'm just imagining them sitting yeah. on the lake in these. So. It would have been cool to, uh, you know, like have them on the back of the schoolie, you know. It but I don't know. I just, these are not comfortable to right. me. <laughs> I just like the ones from Costco. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so guys, that's going to do it. Um, we do have to go get our kids. <laughs> yeah. Let me see what time is it? It's 3.33. We got to go now. So, Reese, you want to say bye? (laughs) Guys, we'll see you next time. Bye. (laughs) Say bye.